Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to everyone back there in the U.S. And hello from the Philippines. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good evening. Is yes, your connection good, good now? Uh, yes. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay, but I yeah. hope it will work. Can you hear me fine? Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah, I hear you fine. I have a little bit of a delay too at first, but yes. Thank you so much. So I'm starting to see people are commenting about prayer requests and I'm just super excited to get to meet you face to face. We've only emailed a little bit. How are you doing? I know. I know, finally. We're good. You know, finally I get to meet you. I've been hearing about you from Malu and she says hello. I think she's <laughs> Thank you. watching this tonight. And Aww. yeah, we, we've been fine here. We are following the shelter at home or we call it uh, community quarantine. So we're, we're just staying at home and we're doing our work from home. In fact, we're doing a lot more work from home. Yeah. And it's an interesting yeah. time. Um, well, yeah. yes, while we could not go out of our homes, uh, there's so much that we can do inside our homes. And thank God for social yeah. media that we can stay connected to our followers and to friends like you all the way uh, back there live. You know, so God is making a way for people to just stay connected. And we're taking yeah. advantage of that. Yeah, definitely. Well, for those who have, are, are joining now, I just want to say hello. I'm Jessica Dasko, host and producer of Life Changers from Virginia Beach, from CBN and Virginia Beach. And we're talking to a familiar face for y'all, um, Kata Inocencio from 700 Club Asia um, in the Philippines. So anyway, <laughs> so I've been saying Kata, the, e the ECQ, that's the enforced community quarantine. Is that what, what it is? Well, actually, it's called um, enhanced community quarantine. Enhanced, sorry, not enforced. <laughs> That's right, but there's an enforcement of that. You know, um, <laughs> it started with a community quarantine, but uh, at, at, I think by the second week of this quarantine, uh, our government had to enhance it by adding a some more restrictions. Got it. But and we have already extended. Uh, the government has ex extended the quarantine until May 15. So we're going by 15 days. So it started with April 1 to 15, April 15 to 30, and then now it's May 1 to 15 because we have not seen a uh, flattening of the curve yet. Mm, okay. So in fact, uh, just for your information, as of today, the Department of Health of the Philippines has announced a total of 8,488 confirmed COVID-19 cases. Wow. It's not as much as the, as the U.S. numbers, yeah. but... but Yes, but our population is 110 million. It's still a low number, so it's good because I believe that in Asia, the Philippines, the Philippine government was the first to impose uh, the quarantine. Mm -hmm. So I think there was an early um, the, um, prevention and control yeah. of the spreading of, of the virus. Uh, but of, of this number, uh, about 568 have been confirmed uh, who passed away and 1,043 1, recoveries have been confirmed. I believe the numbers could be higher than that, you know, but mm. these are just confirmed and reported to our Department of Health. Yeah, wow, thank you for sharing that. It gives great insight. I was meditating earlier on the fact that a lot of times we don't know how to pray for our brothers and sisters around the world because we don't know their faces. We, we don't have like that picture in front of our eyes and we, we don't know the facts. So what you're sharing is very timely for us to, to be able to partner because um, something that's on my heart, I was, I was saying right before um, you joined is the topic of anxiety. And I think that that tries to paralyze us a lot of times to, to only look at our situation. And if, I think a way out of that is to pray for other people, not just yourself. I think when, when we set our eyes on what God is doing around the world and we, we trust him, by praying for other people, we, we end up saying, wait, he, he, he can work in my life too. And so that's at the heart for these, these pandemic prayer lives, Instagram lives. Um, that's why Jennifer, our prayer center, which is 24 seven, has been very active, especially nowadays, because we do receive a lot of calls from mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And, and we continue to pray for them uh, by, by phone or by our social media. And we have been receiving a lot of those people who are helpless, hopeless, depressed, and even suicidal. Mm, I think yeah. that the numbers have risen. Yeah. You know, um, uh, 
people are trying to cope with the situation. It has been 60 days already. It has been two months wow. already since our enhanced community quarantine. And the one that's really getting the brunt of this situation are the people in the, in, in the poor sector. Mm. Because especially those who are daily wage earners. Because suddenly their, their income has stopped and there's no ability for them to buy their food even. Yeah. So, yeah. so actually, um, apart from government help, which is kind of slow to trickle down, uh, a lot of the um, private sector have risen in what you call bayanihan for the Filipinos. It's really a community spirit, you know, trying mm -hmm. to help people suddenly are pouring out their resources, uh, oh, buying wow. food and sending it specially to the frontliners and even to those who are in most need. And Operation Blessing uh, here in the Philippines, yeah. it has been, you know, we've been on call from the very start. And apart from um, sending food, food bags, to, to people who are in most need, those are, that, that, those are, that are hardest reached by, by government help and private help. We have also been buying personal protective equipment for mm -hmm. frontliners, yeah. for hospital workers, especially hospitals that, again, are, are farthest or uh, unreached. You know, that's what Operation Blessing does. You know, we, we research and find out which one is not reached by government or the other private yeah. sector, and that is where we go. So our Operation Blessing people have been very active these days. Uh, yeah. They're the ones who do not work from home. <laughs> they work yeah. out of the house. Yeah, very essential. <laughs> I know, and, and they, they, they are actually frontliners too, because yeah. they, they go out and get exposed, you know. But, but we do get a lot of help and assistance from the military and the police who guide us and help us through navigate our way so that we can reach the right places that's really good that's good and i also saw that um superbook you, you guys call it a batang superbook or bat batang superbook batang, batang means child child oh. so batang oh. superbook yeah god oh that's really <laughs> sweet i see that i saw that um superbook in the philippines is also reaching out to communities so that kids have something to do Yes, absolutely. In fact, in our, our app, the Superbook app, we already have the programs available even uh, to study so that parents uh, can start uh, homeschooling you know, their children yes. using the Superbook app. And there are also study guides that are already available for people. Even now, they, they, they can do that now. Yeah, that's good. I, I want to take a second to recommend the Superbook Vlog Show for all of you watching. If you have kids, the Superbook Vlog Show on YouTube, if you just type in Superbook Vlog, that's a really cool um, interactive, non-cartoon way of discussing the cartoon for your kids. I actually used to be part of that back a couple of years ago. <laughs> so you might see me there. <laughs> but it was really fun. But it's a, it's a great show. It's continued. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's really fun. Well, right now, I want to take some time to ask you guys if you guys want to comment prayer requests. We want to pray for you specifically. And um, Kata, what are some prayer requests that, that are on your heart in this time that we can pray for? Well, um, right now, let's go to the 700 Club, you know. Um, I believe God has opened a way for, for ministry to be more open now. Mm -hmm. uh, not limited to church, not limited to our programs. But because the, everyone is online right now, looking yeah. not just for news, but also to stay connected with their friends and loved ones, mm -hmm. we have actually also shifted our efforts towards uh, producing more shows online. You, you know, back here in the Philippines, there are 12 uh, co-hosts of the 700 Club Asia. Wow. Yes. And, and wow. we have about three or four beauty queens. <laughs> I'm not included. Whoa. But I think I might qualify, or I qualify. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's about three or four of us who were former newscasters of the mm. major networks in the Philippines. So maybe we can add, we, 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 I could say that, you know, we have the credibility, I think, to speak on certain topics. And, and the Lord has given us also the, the mantle of, uh, of his word and his messages yeah. in our hearts, and we can yeah. deliver it. So actually, since the quarantine, we have started coming out online on uh, the 700 Club Asia's Facebook. 
um, a platform, we've been coming out with programs or messages every night. And there are more programs that we are considering doing right now because we realize, and I realize myself, that my goodness, God has downloaded so much in us, you know, and we should not keep it, you know, yeah. we should give it away. And, and there are just so many things that God wants to say to people right now to give them hope. Yeah. You know, and, and for them to turn their eyes towards God during this time, because he is really the answer. Just like, why, why do we have peace in our home right now? Yeah. Yeah. Apart, from, apart from obeying the government's uh, instructions to stay yeah. safe and to stay home, you know, social distancing and stuff, you know. But, but, but more than that, you know, we, we do not panic. We, we have peace because we know that Jesus is in our hearts and he, he's in our homes. And yeah. he's making sure that because we trust him with our lives, you know, he will come in and he will yeah. definitely be here to protect us. And, and, yeah. and I think that's a message that we really want to impart to our people right now. And um, yeah. generally, you know, everything's fine. I have not heard of any concerns about uh, staff of CBN Asia or Operation. I think we have one former volunteer who, mm -hmm. was, who tested positive, but quickly we did something to send help. Yeah make sure yeah. that she is fine yeah I, I was gonna say you you I clearly see that you have peace like I was just, you seem like you have a lot of peace and there's the light of Jesus is shining on you so I was gonna ask you like have you experienced any anxiety in this time or, or and if you have what have you done well you see um, about four years ago I was uh, diagnosed with the uh, lymphoma, uh, uh, mm -hmm. chronic lymphocytes, two types of cancer. But I've overcome that already. Mm -hmm. The Lord has Thank healed God. me and, and I've been through some treatments. My concern is continuing with treatments, you know. Mm -hmm. So I've been prevented from going to the clinics that I get my alternative uh, treatments. So, so for, a be for a little while, I was concerned about that. But then I said, God, um, this time you have to really heal me supernaturally. <laughs> Yeah. Because the medical and the alternative are not available to me right now, mm. right? Yeah. So they're not available to me right now. So you've already rescued me from cancer. I'm sure you're rescuing me from COVID. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if at all, that's my anxiety. And the second one is my daughter is back there in, in California. She's oh. finishing her studies at the Bethel School of Supernatural oh, Ministries. Oh, cool. So she has been prevented from coming home. Mm. So as a mother, that was my concern, being away yeah. from a loved one. And then even her flight back home was canceled. Oh. You know, it was canceled, but uh, praise God, she was able to rebook. So she's coming home on June 4. So I oh, hope there will be no hindrances for yeah. her coming home. So basically, okay. those two things, you know, personally, personally. Uh, but, but on the other hand, it, as a community, I, I would like to say that I've been blessed that co the community spirit has really arisen, even in our own village, because I started getting to know my neighbors. Mm. <laughs> and, wow. And, yes, and my neighbors and I are pulling our resources so we can help the poor people around our community, mm. within our city. Because I think we have enough, you know, we will not yeah. grow hungry. In yeah. fact, I've gained, I have gained two kilos already. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't have stress. a scale, so I don't know how much I've gained, but I know I've oh, gained. Yeah. My scale is just down there. <laughs> so every time I get down up the stairs, I have to check and uh-uh. So, but, you know, we, we really try to, to, to share our blessings. Mm. with the community around us for those who are in most need. So yeah. I think that those are major prayer items and people can do something too. Yeah. That. yeah, definitely. That's really good to hear. And as you were talking, I, I was reminded, well, I, I actually went through, um, uh, it's called a rare type of cancer or an autoimmune disease about seven years ago called Langerhans cell histiocytosis. It's one of those in between rare diseases that is kind of cancer, kind of an autoimmune disease. But I was thinking the other day, I was like, well, if I've been through that and God, you spared me from that. And there's a really cool supernatural story with that. Um, but I was thinking, well, when I was facing that, I remember thinking, I remember the fear of death 
coming and I remember I was 16 years old and I remember like wow like I could die and then I was like wait no like I haven't accomplished anything for you yet God like I don't think you want me to die yet but if if, if you want like I'll go to heaven okay I'll be with you but yeah. I don't think and so that that immediately just like gave me peace back then when I was 16 and so I was thinking about it uh recently and I was like well like if I get coronavirus Lord I, I still have stuff I want to do for you I don't I don't think I'm much much use up for you in heaven I think I, I, I mean I think I could do more here <laughs> even though was, you know like so I was just processing that I was like okay that, and that kind of settled again the, the fear and the anxiety of like you know what my my life is in God's hands and, and regardless of, of where where I am whether on this side or the other side I'm, my whole purpose is to worship him and praise him so um, but yeah that's true, and God has, God has given you promises mm -hmm. that He has yet to fulfill. Yeah, and we and we stand on that word. You know, yeah. there may be reports all over us, even now that we hear um, terrible news about COVID and what the, the toll it, it is exacting on people's lives and even nations. But we can stand on the word of God. You know, yeah. that one is what is true and what is permanent, because everything else can change you know situations yeah. can change circumstances can change our feelings can change reports statistics can change but god's word is permanent yeah. so 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 jennifer when i went through that too uh, even now um when, when we're anxious about life and what it's going to be like wait, wait a minute god just had a word and he had a promise and he is faithful to fulfill it you know, yeah. he, he, he will make sure that he, what the word he sends out uh, will fulfill what he sent it out for. Yeah. Right? Will accomplish what he sent it out for. That's it. Yeah. So we stand on the word of God and his promises. And uh, when I was worried about my life, and I just want to share this with people who might be worried about their lives right now, that, you know, we can stand on God's word. Absolutely. I'm standing on Psalm 118, verse 17, which says, um, I shall not die, but live, and I will proclaim what the Lord has done. And I keep saying that, and I keep saying it as a commitment to God and, and also to claim God's promise that, God, you still want to use me to proclaim your goodness. Mm -hmm. And also in, in Revelation, um, in Revelation, Revelation 12, verse 1, that we overcome by the blood of the lamb mm -hmm. and by the word of our testimony you know god has already done his part he already shed the blood of the lamb yeah. to pay for our sins to to heal us and and even to overcome death you know he has done his part so what is our part it's to accept that truth and then to proclaim you know to to yeah. deliver to sh to say the word of our testimony yeah. so that we can be overcomers so so i stand on that and i hope people will learn from us tonight and our, those who are watching that that they can you know be encouraged by that yeah amen amen well amen. let's take some time now to pray and i see a shout out from dubai hello from dubai and uh, i saw someone mention finances that they needed prayer for finances and i'm sure that's a, that's a general topic we can pray for would you lead us in prayer yeah, I will, I will start. Sure. Thank you. Um, dear friends and, and um, loved ones, um, we just want to stand here on the gap with you, believing that whenever two or more are gathered in Jesus' name, he hears us and he answers prayers. So please join us in this prayer. Our heavenly God and Father, we worship you today and we praise you. We thank you. Because you are good and you are faithful, O oh God. Even in the midst of the storm, you are there, O oh Jesus. Lord, we remember the times when, the time when, when there was a storm and the uh, disciples were so in fear, O oh God. And, and you were even asleep, Lord. You were not bothered by the storm. But when you awoke, O oh God, you calmed the storm. So we ask you, Father, right now, that you will calm the storms in people's hearts right now, oh, Father God, and let them know that once you are in the boat with them, mm -hmm. oh, God, you can do this. Lord, we can even step out of the boat and walk on water and come to you, Jesus, 
looking straight at you, focusing on you, and not looking at the waves and the storms around us because we do not want to sink like Peter sank, oh God, when, when he started getting conscious and worried about his life, Lord. We look to you, Jesus, and we focus on you knowing that you are loving and you are faithful and you died on the cross to save us from our sins. So even now, uh, Jessica, I would just like to lead people right now who want to have that peace that surpasses all understanding because Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble, mm -hmm. but take heart, I have overcome the world. Indeed, mm -hmm. the world may be in trouble right now, but Jesus promised that he has overcome the world. So Father God, in Jesus' name right now, for those who want, Lord God, to be overcomers through Christ, for those who want to receive the peace of the Lord, we ask for your forgiveness, Lord God. We open our heart's door and invite you, Jesus, to be Savior and Lord of our lives. Come in, Lord Jesus. Give us your peace. Give us your love. Give us your understanding. Give us your guidance through your Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that we can have in you. In Jesus' yes, name. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. And Father, I join with Kata and, and, and our, our, our guests, Lord, our friends that are watching. And Father, I, I thank you for your son, Jesus. I thank you for that, that peace that we have through him. And Lord, I just ask that in, in this season that for those who, that have prayed, Lord, the prayer of salvation, Lord, and for those who have been Christians for a while, Lord, that in this season that you would reveal purpose to them like never before. Father, that verse that God uh, said from Psalm 118, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Lord, we know that now we have life in you. But God, we want to know how to serve you, how, what purpose you've given us, Lord, how to declare your works, because that can be spoken or, or, in, or done in many different ways. So, Father, I ask for your anointing to come upon all of our viewers, Lord, all of our, our communities around the world, the, in the Philippines, 700 Club Asia, and Life Changers all, all around the world, God. And I ask for your anointing to just come upon our um, our friends, God, so that they can see and know the plan that you have for them, that the good works that you have set before them to do, Lord, that, that they will experience life abundant with also the promise of eternal life that they have in Jesus, but life abundant, God, that they will experience your salvation, Jesus, you right now in, in, their, in the season of quarantine, God, that in, in the midst of anxiety, in the mix, midst of restlessness, in the midst of uh, things being removed and, and things being revealed in their hearts, things that they, they've been struggling with, different fears that we've all been struggling with, God, I ask that as these things are removed and we are, you know, left alone to, to be in your presence, that you would heal, that you would remove, that you would clean out, that you would just uh, meet us and, and build, Lord. Start building where where there has been nothing, God, where there has been destruction. I ask that you bring about order, that where there has been chaos, mm. that you would just start building, Lord, a, a garden, Lord, of, of beauty within our hearts, a garden of fruitfulness that we will be overflowing with the fruit of the Spirit. Mm. And Father, we just thank you for that promise of life abundant again. Thank you, God, for mm. Even as I'm seeing that picture of the garden, Lord, thank you that you, you want to meet us, that you want us to be fruitful and, and not be bogged down by anxiety and depression. So, Father, right now, I just thank you. I praise you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your work within us. Thank you, Jesus, for your, your sacrifice. Thank you, Father, for loving the world so much. And even in the midst of, of coronavirus and COVID-19 and this pandemic, even in the midst, God, you are with us and you love us. I ask that you meet people in the finances and the different areas of their lives yes. that, that are lacking. And Father, yes. that you will be more than enough. Jesus, yes. you are more than enough. Thank you for your peace, your shalom, the fruitfulness, the abundance, the, the prosperity of, of the joy, God, that comes with that shalom. Father, you are the source of all joy, and we give you honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 And Jessica, I just want to assure people who are watching right now, like you said, worried about finances mm -hmm. and provision. You know, when the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. Mm -hmm. You know, once you've invited him into your home, into your heart, the Lord, as your master, obligates himself to take mm -hmm. care of you, to yeah. take care of his children. 
So right now, I ask you, dear brothers and sisters who are watching, to completely surrender everything mm -hmm. to Him right now and let the Lord take care of His own. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, thank you, for the pouring, Lord God, of blessings, provisions, and peace, and protection, mm -hmm. Lord God, of those who belong to you, in Jesus' thank you, name. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you so Jessica. much. Thank you so much for inviting <laughs> me. It was great. I know you've been squeezed. You've had a lot of stuff going on. I loved yeah, the past Seven Minutes yeah. of Asia's um, <laughs> concert. I loved it. Uh, the one, oh, it was yeah. Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah, the other night. It was a wonderful time. We we heard for I think for the first time, the testimonies of superstars Regine Velasquez and yeah, her, yeah, and her songwriter, singer, husband Augie Alcasid. You know, they opened their homes and and shared their testimony. That testimony that was such a blessing. It was so good. I watched the whole thing. I was I was just super blessed by that. Yeah, and, and Augie even sang uh, for the first time some of the songs he just composed mm, yeah. on the show. Yeah. It was yeah. a premiere, a world premiere. Yeah, it was so good. If you see, you so guys... many things are happening right now, right? Yeah. I mean, we are fruitful, productive, even during this time. So yeah. anytime, call on us. Let us know when you want to join us. We're just here. We're not going anywhere. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, likewise. We're sitting around our homes. <laughs> but I want to say, y'all, if you if you guys want to watch the, the concert, if you missed it, you can still watch it. I'm pretty sure it's still up, right, on the 700 Club yes. Asia Facebook. Um, and, yeah, if you guys want to partner with uh, CBN Asia and – all of you heard a little bit of all that they're doing. I think you know you can still uh, donate and and partner with them. So yeah, please do it. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that endorsement. Yeah. Yes, we shall continue doing what we're doing, you know, and, until the Lord returns. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amen. <laughs> so we're just around, you know, and doing what yeah. we do for the Lord. Thank you so much and blessings you to you. Have a good night. Please you rest. Too. Yes, Thank you. Too. you. I'll take it out. Shalom, shalom to everyone. Shalom. Bye. See you all. Thank you. Bye.